Yeah, so Colin talked a little bit about the PvE experience, and I'll kind of get to combat later, but since we're showing it here, I want to talk a little bit about how this relates to PvP, too. Um, when you're fighting against other players, you know, you don't just want to kill faceless people. You want to kill people that you know. You know, there's some sense of uh, <laughs> satisfaction in beating players that you have kind of learned their, their skill sets and learned stuff about. So a lot of these other games, they have what we call uh, PvP lobbies, where you just kind of join in, you get put in the game, that game ends, you leave. Those people you fought against, you'll probably never see them again. Uh, so one thing we wanted to do is create what is a server browser of PvP. It's kind of a list of games, and you kind of start to join the same games and build a community on these servers that you're joining, you know, fight with and against the same people, which is really important to build uh, PvP communities as well. Um, so after that, talking a little about the combat stuff, everything about the combat is also built to be really social too. Uh, every profession of the game can res everyone else, so when players go down, you know, everyone has a chance to come back and bring their allies back into the fight. Uh, we've built a lot of pieces just to make players be able to work together. And uh, one of the most important of these is the cross-profession combos. Uh, what this let players do is one player uses one skill and another player will use a second skill. And they kind of combine together to create a new effect that you can only do when you do these two things in conjunction. So we've talked about a few of these, but, you know, this stuff is coming along now. And uh, kind of one of the big things we try and do is create... Uh, categories of combos that work together. So at first, you know, we just talked about shooting arrows through a firewall. Well, it's a lot about creating areas in the world and then having uh, characters interact through them. So as an example now, like if you're a guardian, you can lay down a symbol on the ground and players can either shoot through it, they can leap through it, they can whirl inside of it. And each of these things kind of has different things that it brings to the table. So you know, as you're fighting combat now, you're starting to look around the world and look for other players to do these things and actually work together with, which kind of brings me to what is the most important piece of uh, combat and bringing people together, which is uh, not the Holy Trinity. So uh, players play, have played a lot of games, I'm sure you guys all have, with these Trinity combat, where you have your healers, you have your tanks, you have your DPS players. You know, this Trinity system, People say it's about working together. To me, it actually just creates a lot of dependencies between players, but they don't actually play together. They are totally dependent on each other. They cannot play without each other, but it doesn't mean that they're actually playing together. They're not actually you know, doing things and communicating with each other other than telling them, like, all right, I, I'm low on health, heal me now. But it's not like uh, you're actually working together. And for us, the cross-profession combos and the lack of these distinct roles is really what makes people actually play together rather than uh, separate from each other. Um, you know, as we play a lot in the office, you see things where we're fighting a big boss, we're fighting a hard creature, and you know, no one, everyone's health is a little low. The warrior can then step up and you know, block that attack for a few seconds while other people have a chance to heal up. But once he's done blocking, he needs to move out of the way. He needs to let someone else take over that role. It makes the combat a lot more dynamic and a lot more social because you have to be communicating with your uh, friends and playing with them. So not just next to them. Uh, so speaking of the Trinity, uh, kind of the biggest thing that this helps us solve too is just the dependency on looking for other players to play together. And uh, Jeff's going to talk a little bit about that. Oh, sure. One of our... Uh